Hi, Kylie Dunn here and welcome to my plan with me for December 2021. So it's a whole year that I've been recording these, making these videos and putting them onto YouTube, which seems a, a little bit strange. A, it feels like I've been doing it forever and B, I can't believe it's been that long. But yeah, now I'm not entirely sure what this is going to look like moving forward. I, I sort of made a commitment that I would do this for a year, like I made that commitment to myself and see how I felt about it and what I got from it and how it might look. And I need to take a little bit of time to reflect on that now that this is my final one going up and what it might look like moving forward. So whether it's the entire bullet journal that I share, whether it's only a small component, whether I still do this recording, because trust me, sometimes this recording works really well and I just use the first one and I'm happy. Uh, at the moment, I'm up to the 10th time that I've tried to record this and it's just not working. So, hey, you know, who knows? If you have an opinion, please feel free to share it with me. Um, chuck it in the comments or find me on social media and comment there. Either way, if you would like to have input into what you would like to see, whether you want me to keep going this way or change it up, more than happy to take that input. Um, but for now, my theme for December is an Australian Christmas. So I, of course, uh, live in Australia. For those of you who haven't been able to place the accent, that's what it is. And our Christmas is, of course, very different to the what is sort of put out in the media more as the traditional Western Christmas, which is a Northern Hemisphere winter Christmas. Uh, our Christmases are, of course, very different because we often swelter through Christmas. Uh, you know, we're definitely sort of usually up in sort of 30 plus degree days and it's a very summery sort of experience. Um, so yeah, I decided to, I'd include a little bit of summer and a little bit of the things that I think of when I think of Christmas as well. So what I've done here is a bit of a floral wreath. Uh, again, you know, if you look up for floral wreath, you get all of the, you know, pine stuff and that's not really us. That's not really Australia. Um, so I've decided I would do a little bit of an Australian one. In the center, the big red flower is a waratah. Up from that are some gum leaves. On the left hand side is wattle. On the right hand side is um, cyclamen, or as we often refer to them, bottle brush. Uh, there's a whole family of things that we refer to as bottle brush. Uh, and then just some random leaves down the bottom and uh, in a moment, a couple of little red flowers. So like I said, a little bit of a, an Australian floral wreath for Christmas. Now you'll notice I've put down there a time to reflect, plan and celebrate. Uh, and I really do feel that way about December. It's definitely a time for me to think about how this year went, uh, what I want to do better, what I would like to do more of, what I want to do less of next year and really go through that reflective practice. Um, as you've seen, if you've watched these, I put a reflection at the end of every month. So it's not like I wait until the end of the year to do this. But I usually have a bit of a bit more brain space at the end of the year because um, the sort of work that I do generally slows down quite considerably around Christmas. Of course, for us, the end of December and all of January are school holidays. So that means that naturally a lot of people try to take that time off to be with their kids, to look after their kids, which means that um, workplace training doesn't really happen very much and just projects in general, everything slows down a little bit. So for the sort of work I do, there's not a lot on. So I've tried to sort of create a little bit more space for myself to be able to plan for my business and plan for me for the next year. Uh, that's sort of how I use December and January, which generally works quite well, sometimes not as well as I would like. So we just did my trackers page uh, and, you know, this is still uh, a thing that I'm quite happy with, although I may split my health tracker out uh, into different sort of things that have been going on with me health wise. I've had a heel that's been problematic and I did my rotator cuff on my left arm. So, you know, just whether I use trackers about how individual things are going as well as my overall health, we'll see how I feel. 
Um, but yeah, so December is a, is a time for reflection, a time for thinking about, you know, how things have gone and uh, what I want 2022 to look like for me. I don't do New Year's resolutions. I do a thing called my three words. Uh, and I got this from Chris Brogan quite a few years ago. I share it on my blog and um, every year I sort of, you know, say these are my three words and I reflect on them just prior to the end of the year and everything else. So uh, if you want to go to kyliedunn.com, you can see more about what the three words actually are and, and what it means and what the process is. But basically, it's setting three words that are my intention for the next year. So my three words for 2021 were flourish, breathe and dare. Flourish was about growing my business and also growing my creative skills and getting better at the things that I, uh, you know, sort of sell to people. And I feel that one went quite well this year. Uh, I think, you know, I've sort of expanded some of my services uh, and had some really interesting work that I've done this year. So, so that's nice. The middle one was breathe, which was about rest, calm and avoiding overwhelm. And yeah, I'm going to give myself, look, I won't give myself a complete F on that one, but it's definitely right down near there. I had a thing that I was doing, um, something I was part of that, really brought quite a lot of stress into my life, uh, particularly in the last 12 months. And I have gotten rid of it. Um, so I've recently resigned uh, from that. And I'm sure that now I can sort of calm down a bit and it won't have as much of an impact for me. But it really was quite detrimental and um, took quite a lot of my brain space and my emotional um, sort of capacity to deal with so I'm glad that it's gone now and hopefully I can get a little bit more of that um, sort of calm and and rest time that I haven't been able to have and of course the third one there being dare which is about owning my, my creativity and the fact that I've done a whole year of sharing all of this when there have been things in here I have not liked um, I, I think I'm doing quite well in that. Look, just be brave and own it uh, and own the mistakes and own the growth and everything else as well. Uh, I can definitely see a significant amount of growth in this as I've gone forward. And uh, for those of you who have watched previous videos and everything, I'm hoping you can too. Um, and that was also about pushing the business more and everything, which I, I sort of have, but, um, I've had enough work that I haven't really had to really heavily promote myself. So that's been good, uh, as well. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so the page before this one, uh, we had a beach scene, which of course you're going to have a beach scene for Christmas in Australia because yeah, <laughs> summer. Uh, I grew up in Wollongong, New South Wales, which is about uh, an hour and a bit south of Sydney and very much a, a beachside sort of town. Um, yes, there is a big ass steelworks there as well, but <laughs> there are lots of lovely beaches. And uh, that's very much how I grew up, spending quite a bit of my, my childhood in, in the summer holidays and around Christmas was at the beach. And uh, yeah, when I think of Christmas and I think of summer, I definitely think of the beach. Uh, it's a little different in Tassie because, which is where I now live. I live in Tasmania, the island state off the south of, uh, of the continent. Um, because the UV here is so much higher. So being out in the midday sun is a lot more burny. Uh, so, you know, you've got to be quite careful around that. And then on top of that, uh, the water here is significantly colder because we are much closer to Antarctica. So beaches are a little bit different here, but we still like to get out and about and spend time there, mainly for our dog to be able to experience them and enjoy sort of swimming around in the ocean, um, which, well, not really the ocean, I guess it's sort of, anyway, in water <laughs> with waves. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, so yeah, so that's sort of, what what I think of with summer and this is how we spend our Christmas um but yeah it's it's interesting so how is your 2021 gone did it go anything like you were thinking it would uh I know in Australia particularly around COVID we had a much worse year this year than we did last year 
um, and I'm not going to get into all the politics and all the other bits and pieces around it. But it means it was another year that I didn't see my family, um, which, you know, is, is its own sort of set of dramas and it makes it like a bit difficult not being able to actually go and catch up with family because of lockdowns and because of all of those different bits and pieces. So, you know, I'm hoping that 2022 eases up on some of that stuff a bit and we can actually get to see people and get to travel Although I can't say that I'm really looking forward to getting on a plane. But, you know, that's life. Um, but yeah, so how do you spend December? Do you actually take it as a reflective time? Are you the sort of person who does New, Year res New Year's resolutions? Um, or, you know, what do you do? Are you someone who celebrates Christmas? Do you have any other sort of uh, end of year tradition? Do you not celebrate anything around this time and it's only a new year thing or what, what goes on for you? It's, it's always interesting to know how people do things and what people's traditions actually are. Um, I'm looking forward to us sort of, you know, getting a bit more seafood into us, um, sort of having quite a relaxing Christmas day, hopefully. And yeah, just really kicking back a bit and getting a chance to recharge. We've had quite a bit going on and both Derek and I are looking forward to just having a nice peaceful break, hopefully. Um, but we'll see how that goes and, and what actually happens for us. But as far as like all of this and the creativity and the bullet journaling goes, I'm pretty happy with how this year has gone. Um, I am thinking about how I theme my bullet journal for ne the next 12 months, what I do, how I set things up. Um, I've had a little bit of a thought that maybe I will um, pick a different fairy tale or similar and do a theme each month because I did enjoy doing my Wizard of Oz. So, you know, I'm playing around with ideas at the moment. Like I said, if you want to contribute, feel free to do that. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this is pretty much my bullet journal for December and getting ready for 2022. So thank you for your time. I hope that you're taking some time to rest and be with people over the end of this year. And I thank you very much for watching these and I look forward to seeing you in 2022, however that's going to look. Thank you. Bye.